I'm sorry I couldn't be with you tonight at First Avenue for what I'm sure is a great night of music and dancing, but I wanted to thank you for the kind invitation to join you, at least by video, and say a few words about music education. And music has always played an important role in my family, as I'm sure it has in many of yours. Uh, it goes way back in my family to when my dad was growing up uh, on the Iron Range in Ely, and he would play the piano uh, with my grandma, always making him practice every day. And to this day, he always holds that pedal down whenever he makes a mistake. Uh, he uh, went on to become kind of a conductor, but only in the car, when he would conduct uh, to opera music. And uh, then I was born, and I uh, actually, my big claim to fame with music, I did play the piano and won some contests. I got to play in Northrop Auditorium. But my earliest experience with music was in Miss Kalyanin's fourth grade class, when we had a flutophone concert, and she would have all the class play the flutophone together, and then she would have them peel off one by one until one student remained. That was me, and I got to play All My Loving uh, by the Beatles on the flutophone. And so now I have my 12-year-old daughter, and she also has been uh, had many great teachers for music in school, and in fact, she's now joined a garage band uh, in Arlington, Virginia. And her, uh, it's her and these two boys. One plays the guitar, she plays the piano, and one plays the accordion. As far as I can see, they only know three chords, but they have a lot of fun. So I always think about music in our family as aspirational. We always aspired to do great things. We didn't quite make it, but it was a goal for us, and it was something that uh, brought us together, from my mom singing in the uh, church choir to all the work that we did in schools. And for us, all products of the public schools, my mom, my dad, me, my daughter, uh, it really uh, started in the public schools. And the truth is that we need to support music education in our public schools. At the state level, support for public schools has been shrinking at the very same time that we are asking schools to do more in core academic areas such as reading, writing, and math. The result is a squeeze on the art, music, and cultural education of our students. This has happened even though research shows that music education makes young people better students in addition to giving them the lifelong satisfaction of playing an instrument or knowing how to sing a tune. So I want to thank Vega Productions for organizing tonight's event, and my friend Robin Robinson for being our host. Uh, Linda Berglund, I know, has been involved with her strong support for our public schools. My daughter went to the Minneapolis Public Schools, and I've always appreciated uh, Linda's leadership. And then to Sandy Rader, who does such a great job with the music education program at Lindale Elementary. So you know you have an advocate here in Washington. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful evening.